Hello, Matt. And or Maya. Uh, this is my uh, New Zealand project that I did in Minecraft because I wanted to do another project in Minecraft. So here we go. I will be narrating. <clears throat> Around 1250 to 1300, the Maori people, formerly Polynesian adventurers, would set up shop here uninterrupted for the next around 550 years. Oh, look! Some Maori settlers landing here! What a strange and unplanned coincidence! I do hope they don't get massacred in their future! For their time on New Zealand, the settlers lived simple lives until the British arrived. It all went downhill for the Maori after that. Look at these guys. They're so... Happy. <laughs> these are the Maori longboats. Yeah, uh, they use these for traveling across the ocean in, uh, like, Polynesia and stuff. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Alright. Wow, we It's Abel Tasman! A Dutch navigator and explorer, he landed in New Zealand in 1642, being the first person to be there ever since the Maori people landed. Despite Tasman discovering new land, it went way under the radar for years until James Cook arrived in 1769. Pretty famous guy. I'm pretty sure Tasmania was named after Tasman. It only makes sense to me. Alright, heading on over here. Oh my god! Oh goodness me! I mean, the Maori people fighting new settlers from Britain! Oh my gosh! How unfortunate. From the 1840s to the 1870s, Britain was at war with the Maori people, trying to take their land from them. That seemed to be a theme with Brit with Jesus, with Britain and their soon-to-be colonies. The Maori tried their darndest to resist colonization, but were nearly eradicated by 1870. A shame. Hold on a second. I just, you know... Oh, whoops, I did it wrong. Oh, sh Uh... Uh... Oh, right. There we go. Ignore this. Okay. <laughs> I'll also ignore that. That was a failed experiment. Okay. Let's head on over here. Um. Right. Hot diggity dog! It's the original British settlement of, uh, settlement of Wellington. Wellington was founded in 1840, but wasn't a real colony until 1841. New Zealand was originally part of Australia's colonies until they became their own cluster of colonies. New Zealand became self-governed in 1852. Neat! There were so many reasons for Brits to move to New Zealand. They had dentists. Oh, get roasted, all British people. There was great agricultural land across the islands, and gold was discovered, beginning a gold rush in 1860. People began flooding to New Zealand in the 1870s. Once 1862, or god dang it, once 1882 rolled around, New Zealand found its niche. Refrigerated goods! Meat, veggies, you name it, New Zealand had it. New Zealand is still somewhat known for its refrigerated goods, which was their main source of income all the way up to the 1970s. How freaking interesting is that, my friends? Now, life in New Zealand during the colonies was pretty good. Many colleges were founded in the 1860s and 1870s, so education was plentiful. Food was most plentiful, with New Zealand's main cuisine being fish, which is surprising to absolutely no one. How did New Zealand become its own country, you may ask? Well, it was pretty uneventful compared to the American Revolution. The decision was mutual, and there was no conflict between New Zealand and Great Britain. Woohoo for New Zealand, I guess. Kinda boring. Alright, that should be the ending of the New Zealand tour through history. I hope you enjoyed this marvelous ride through this lame country's history. I have one final thing to show you.